I don't need to highlight the issues of benefits of cash transfer program. Number one, it improves the living uh, conditions of our elderly. And we've seen so many cases uh, where this cash is given to vulnerable people. They survive by buying their food. They go to actually to hospitals and elderly people are vulnerable when it comes to my issues of health. So it is a very important cash transfer program. It also uh, helps them in accessing the economic and social services. And uh, we have seen many cases, those who have received this money actually even opening businesses and keeping them busy. And by doing so, keeping them active, uh, it will also help them in uh, aging gracefully. So, uh, Mr. Speaker, this is a very important uh, cash transfer program. The other issue, actually, on this cash is uh, it, uh, it has helped in the reduction of extreme poverty and what we call intergenerational transfer of poverty. So, uh, this cash needs to be really supported by everybody. We recall the last exercise which was done countrywide was 2016 and uh, this is now tw tw we are in 2023 seven years ago and majority of the people who used to access this cash have passed on or maybe they are no longer existing and we have not seen any replacement majority of the people who are at the age of 60s they are now at the right bracket to access this cash and yet uh, the Ministry of Social Protection has not updated the register. It is high time we do this exercise in an open and transparent manner to ensure those who rightfully uh, need this cash, it is done. And uh, I'm calling upon the next budget. We need to consider increasing the budget, budget, budgetary allocation for this cash transfer program.